Sandra, this is going to turn into a huge scene that is going to be an all-day thing, and it involves, yes, P. Diddy. The home is... Sandra, this is going to develop into a big scene that will take place all day. Yes, P. Diddy is involved. He said, man, that's tax evasion. You can go to prison. Prepare for a shocking revelation in the realm of celebrity scandal. We've discovered the shocking hideout of Music Mobil. Scene Diddy, who is under federal investigation for serious charges, including abuse and trafficking, managed to make a daring escape with the help of an unlikely ally, TV icon Steve Harvey. According to sources, Harvey, who has been Diddy's longtime friend and secret partner in their infamous underground parties, whisked Diddy away to a secluded spot in Africa. Diddy says he is innocent, but raids on his homes in Miami and Los Angeles have sparked a flurry of allegations. Legal professionals caution that the harm to his image may be irrevocable, but the major concern on everyone's mind is how long he can continue to hide given Harvey's ties and the intense attention of the global media. Stay tuned as we reveal the next episode in this thrilling drama. This saga is far from over. As people are certainly adding to this, I would advise being cautious about what we hear. With that said, let's explore the mystery behind Diddy's abrupt disappearance from his private flight. His absence from Antigua's landing has led to a lot of rumors, and while the media is working hard to find him, his precise whereabouts is still a mystery. The timing couldn't be more suspicious, especially since his close friend Steve Harvey was also conveniently out of the country. According to the latest rumors, Steve Harvey is allegedly hiding Diddy in one of his opulent mansions on the African continent. It is believed that Dee was informed about the impending raids on his properties and made a calculated escape, evading the authorities just in time. Homeland security agents were packed into his home yesterday. Many people have expressed concern over Steve's intended trip to Kenya, which was revealed following his meeting with President William Ruto at the Tyler Perry Studios. The timing of Harvey's STP seems suspiciously close to the event. Could this be a cover for his assistance in Diddy's escape? Harvey is a stand-up comedian, entertainer, television host, family man, and most importantly, a man of faith. Some insiders speculate that Steve, with his vast network and resources, may have been planning Diddy's hideout long before the search warrants were issued, adding gasoline to the fire. Days after the raids, rumors began to circulate regarding Steve's activities in Africa. He was seen meeting with prominent people in Kenya, supposedly to discuss future film projects. But sources claim that these meetings were a front for his true goal of setting up a secure retreat for Diddy. An insider claims that Diddy contacted Steve prior to the raids. So it's possible that Steve planned everything to give Diddy a place to hide until the storm passes. In an informal statement made at a press conference in Kenya, Steve Harvey cryptically stated that this continent has always been a place of sanctuary and rebirth. It is likely that he was alluding to the potential of Africa's film industry. His remarks haven't done much to allay these fears. Many people took the remark to be an exaggeration of Duty's current situation. The intriguing nature of Harvey's reasons and conduct is further enhanced by Drew's criticism and his contentious previous remarks regarding Africa that have just come to light. I need to give this hill some thought. Diddy and Harvey's relationship is currently the subject of close investigation. The Feds are also reportedly looking into whether Harvey's properties in Africa were bought or modified with the intention of becoming a sanctuary for Diddy. The property's remote locations, high security, and opulent amenities certainly fit the profile of an ideal hideout for someone trying to evade the law. Meanwhile, Diddy's legal troubles continue to mount despite his adamant denials. The numerous lawsuits and allegations paint a grim picture. Friends and associates are being questioned about their knowledge of any plans or prior warnings that he might have received. There's no indication that the media frenzy will end, 
as reporters and paparazzi follow up on every tip in the hopes of catching a peek of the elusive celestial body. Every day that goes by, the mystery grows more complex, and Diddy and Harvey are under more strain. I won't lie. As the inquiry progresses, it's difficult to avoid wondering how involved Harvey really was. Was he just lending a hand to a friend in need? Or is there more to the tale? The possibility Harvey may suffer serious consequences, particularly if there is any hard proof that connects him to Diddy's purported misdeeds. For the time being, both men have chosen to remain silent, with their fates being interwoven in this dangerous game of cat and mouse. There is much speculation that Diddy has information on many powerful people who have attended Harvey's famous parties over the years. This alleged treasure trove of information may include anything from drug use to extramarital affairs, all of which are purportedly recorded on hidden cameras that have allegedly been installed in Harvey's opulent homes in Los Angeles, New York, and Miami. Harvey may have been blackmailed into helping Diddy escape by using this knowledge if he was truly photographing everyone at the parties. After all, there were a lot of people there, and Diddy may have used this information to force Harvey to risk everything in order to keep these secrets hidden. Conspiracy theories have only grown more prevalent as a result of Diddy's ability to avoid capture thus far. Recently, right pundit Candace Owens supported the old claim that Diddy's continued freedom stems from his close ties to federal institutions. The idea that Diddy might be a government asset was put forth by Owens, citing claims made by West 2021. This idea gained traction after a disturbing video of Diddy assaulting his former girlfriend, Cassie Venter Combs, surfaced. Diddy has since posted an apology on the video, and the swift settlement of Cassie's lawsuit has led many to question the extent of his influence and connections adding yet another twist to this complicated web. Comedian Andrew Schultz discussed on Joe Rogan's podcast the theory that the federal raids on Diddy's properties were less about the mogul himself and more about retrieving potentially damaging footage of other powerful individuals. There are rumors that Diddy was operating some sort of Epstein-style deal, yes. I'm not aware of any evidence beyond Schultz's theory that the influential individuals involved may have asked for favors to guarantee that these cassettes were seized, safeguarding their own reputations in the process. According to this theory, Diddy's lavishly filmed parties, which drew an array of celebrities and elites, could be used as leverage or as a means of blackmail. Some have claimed that they weren't there to steal anything, but rather to erase all traces of the real people who attended. You know, that's funny, that's funny. Joe Rogan added, concurring that Diddy's connections to a number of well-known people make this a likely possibility. The idea that the raids were a concerted attempt to shield powerful individuals from scandal, rather than to apprehend Diddy himself, fits into a larger pattern of conjecture. When you delve deeper into conspiracy theories, it seems like there are endless levels of detail. Rogan and others hypothesize that the raid's true purpose may have been to tie up loose ends and shield these elates from exposure. Comedian Eddie Griffin, meanwhile, joined the chorus of conjecture by jokingly incorporating the drama into his stand-up acts and hinting that there may be more going on than meets the eye. Group Universal Music Griffin's amusing perspective on the situation highlights a rising public feeling that the official narrative may be hiding the darker, more significant truth, further clouding the picture. What's this mother name? CC he's a put Diddy up, and a they 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 sacrifice. And did Jason Whitlock compare Diddy to the infamous during his appearance on Glenn Beck's show Drew? Epstein Jeffrey Whitlock said that Diddy like to Epstein, might be a California agent, speculating that his unbridled dominance in the music business and his capacity to evade punishment in spite of several accusations could be attributed to his function as an informant money power prestige success. Diddy is causing a god complex 
and there are now concerns about whether or not he is collaborating with the federal government. Whitlock's theory goes farther Diddy's suggestion that the rap industry is full of people chosen and trained by the government to further covered agendas is just one aspect of the conspiracy theories surrounding Diddy and Harvey's relationship that keep getting stronger with every new piece of information. Could Diddy have been using his parties to gather information on influential people for blackmail, protecting him from legal consequences? Was Harvey involved in this? Desperate to keep his personal secrets hidden, Diddy recorded every session, so he was Clive and underscore underscore. The free 